I enjoy learning about? Well, just today, I had to go down to Yakima. If any of you have been to Yakima, you know it's a two hour drive. Going to Orville, it's not bad, but after Ellensburg, it's pretty much boring wasteland. Occasionally you'll see a military helicopter or plane drive by or the Humvees as they're caravanning onto their training center. But most of all, it's, it's a pretty boring, boring job just driving down there and then back in the same day, four hours. What do I enjoy learning and doing on those long drives? Podcasts. I discovered podcasts. Planet Money, the NPR puts on, they have a lot of interesting tidbits. They're about 20 minutes long. And just today I heard about a story about a Dutchman who was the first short seller in history. It was the first company the Dutch Indies Trading Company. They invested in boats, they went to the East Indies, bought the spices, brought them to Europe, and sold the spices. Well, they needed capital, ships, crew members, capital to go buy the spices, so they sold stock. It was the first company, and it was sold on the stock exchange, which was this little bridge between two towns where people would go and sell their pigs, their chickens, their lumber, and also these stock notes. Very first company, it's fascinating. Well, this guy worked for the East Indies Trading Company, but he had a falling out. And he was angry at the company, and so he wanted to get back to the company. So he bought a bunch of the stock, resold it as a short sell, and then send out, sent out his friends and henchmen to spread rumors that, oh, this spice ship sunk in the Mediterranean, or there's a spice ship full of pepper off the coast of Portugal, but it's leaking, and the pepper is all moldy and they can't sell it, well, what happens to the stock price? It goes down and down and down. When you short something, you want the stock price to go down. So he ended up making a lot of money. Fascinating thing to learn from podcasts on my long drive. <laughs>